What's up guys and welcome back to Just In Time. Now this is gonna be a really short one. What was that? Yeah, 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 it's gonna be short. It's gonna be short. I'm just kidding, there's no one there. I'm alone as per usual. So today I just wanted to talk a little bit about money and achievements and how that all kind of ties in in my perspective and my thinking. Like, by the way, if you're wondering, my finger is still swollen from the previous video, so yay for that. I do get to visit a lot of customers, so I go, I go to their houses and some of these guys have really, really beautiful houses. Last month, I visited this uncle in Penang. He has a beautiful, beautiful home along Gurney Drive. Such amazing furniture, great view. He even had a pool like on the outside balcony, which is just bonkers. I couldn't think of another word. Bonkers sounds really weird. But it was just a beautiful, beautiful home. And it got me thinking because um, if you're that rich, like money must really not mean anything to you anymore. Because you, there's no way that you're looking at price tags at that point already. Like the furniture alone must have cost like people's house already. And the renovation that he did, it just really, really got me wondering how much money do you need to have to be able to buy such things? And how much money do you need to have earned all together? Like for you to be able to just like simply tie on all these type of things. Now I'm not saying that rich people all simply tie on stuff. Obviously, you know, let them enjoy uh, the wealth that they've accumulated for themselves. But I started wondering what do we need to do to actually reach there? Like we still have so many decades of life left to live. What do we need to do in that time? to reach that amount of money and even if we do, will we feel satisfied or validated? Now, I really did want to actually have a podcast about this particular topic. What do you guys think? Should I have a podcast or like, do you guys have anybody that you would recommend that you would want to see me talk about money with? So that's just an idea for now. I uh, haven't thought of anybody to actually take the podcast with. so. Keeping that in mind. Coming back, so having that amount of money, will that really, number one, make us happy? And number two, how do we even get that type of money? Because standing from like where I am now, it's so difficult to imagine ever being able to have that amount of money in your bank account. And I was talking to my friend Jahan about it, and I was just getting so worked up and so frustrated. And obviously he was asking me like, what, why are you getting so worked up? And it's like, it feels so impossible for us to reach that type of money. We dive deeper into that topic. Like, and for me, it was more about like achievement to be able to know that I'm able to reach that and I have reached this particular uh, level of wealth. But for me, I know that it's not going to mean much to me unless I have someone that I love to share it with. So the whole point of me amounting all this wealth would be actually to use it on somebody that I love. So like my wife, my family, etc, etc. Why? Because I know myself, even right now, like when I achieve something big, I want to share that with someone that I love. I want to share it with somebody. And that actually, usually for me, it comes off with uh, my girlfriend. So whatever I achieve, I always want to share it with my girlfriend. And it may not be the healthiest thing. So for me, that's why I usually always make sure that I have a very close companion, which for me, obviously it manifests in the form of a girlfriend. It's not the healthiest of coping mechanisms, but for me, that's what I have now. And I just know that one day if I do reach this level of wealth or level of status, that if I do not have someone to share it with, I will feel so super duper empty because I can just, putting myself there in my mind now, I can actually feel the emptiness if I were to be that wealthy and that not to say famous lah, but that successful and have no one to share it with. Because for me, what brings me genuine joy is just being able to help and throw love on all of the people that I care and love about, like my good friends, my family, my future family. So that's what brings me a lot of joy, to be able to spend on these people. Uh, obviously, I, I like to buy nice things for myself, but, but if you know me, I don't really yell at you a lot. I'm pretty simple. I don't need all that much to survive. But what brings me joy again is giving back to other people. So on that particular visit, that is what I started thinking about. What would bring me satisfaction? Is it really the wealth? Or is it what the wealth brings? Or is it wealth at all? So what do you guys think? Will wealth bring you satisfaction? Or is there something else? Are you actually chasing something else that brings you more satisfaction than money? That is my thought for the day. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope that it sparked your thinking as well, especially for us, we are at a fresh grad age. We're not supposed to have everything figured out, but it is a really, really good time for us to just kind of expand our thinking and start thinking for ourselves and think about what we actually want. So just 
take your time on that journey and enjoy that particular journey that you are on. If you like the video, do not forget to like and subscribe it. I always appreciate having feedback from you guys. Do share it with a friend if you think they might benefit from it. Till the next video guys, bye. So besides me doing these videos and uh, having a part time... <laughs> if you have that, <sighs> so many decades of life to live... <laughs> I mean we still have so... I always want to share it with a girlfriend. <laughs> so on that particular visit... <laughs>